Hello and welcome to another video of mine, it's Commander Blade and this is another Chelsea transfer news edit video for you guys where I keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news in the previous past 24 hours to 12 hours and I didn't think that I'd be seeing news like this. This morning it was broken by Fabrizio Romano, Haaland's representatives, his entourage has met with John Laporta, John Laporta, brand new Barcelona president. They landed in Barcelona last night, they had meetings with them, they were escorted by his security, had meetings, they proposed their projects and Barcelona is on the list to sign Herling Haaland. But it's not all bad news, Chelsea of course are going to be having a meeting with him, with his entourage, his agent, Mineralis and the Flyers London next week and other top clubs are going to have meetings with Man City, Chelsea, they're all going to have meetings with them, we're going to propose our projects, our plans for Haaland, what we want to do in the future where we plan and aspire to be in the next two, three years' time, that's when you have to show everything. That's when you present everything, the presentations, the projects have to be on point. I'll be revealing all the details in regards to what Barcelona did and what this means for the current Haaland situation. But before I do get into it, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll also be discussing Jorginho. It looks like he will be 100% staying for next season. We'll be speaking about what his agent, Joel Santos, came out and said in his quotes, could he be signing a brand new contract extension? We'll have to wait and see. And also some Wijnaldum links as well. But without further ado, let's get straight into this news video for you guys. Now, starting off with the biggest news story in this video, and it is Erling Haaland. Now, I'll be disclosing loads of information for you guys. It'll be jam-packed with information. Everything that is coming out in this video is 100% facts because it's confirmed by Gianluca Di Marzio and Fabrizio Romano, two of the most reliable Italian journalists you can possibly get. Di Marzio has come out and said that Erling Haaland's representatives will listen to projects and proposals as they are doing of all the top clubs to decide of Haaland's future. As I stated, Chelsea will obviously be having a presentation and project planning with Mina Raleigh's agent, his father and Haaland's representatives and entourage. The meeting between Erling Haaland's representatives and Barcelona was a phase of testing the pulse to understand the numbers needed and study the solutions to complete a deal. It didn't witness any specific agreement. Mina Raleigh and Erling Haaland's father are taking a tour to get to know the potential buyers for him and Mina Raleigh will meet and talk with other clubs in the next weeks regarding Erling Haaland. The race for Erling Haaland will be very, very long, as I keep stressing, as many clubs are, of course, involved. The meeting between Mina Rale, Erling Haaland's father, and Jean Laporte has been positive. It was the first contract and contact to discuss about the new Barcelona project, but, however, there is nothing done or nothing advanced. The meeting between Erling Haaland's reps and Barcelona have just ended after two hours. They landed at 9.30 from Nice. Not expecting journalists to be at the airport, they believe that the signing is possible. This was just the first contact. And Erling Haaland is open to the idea of playing at Barcelona, but will have to be convinced by a strong sporting project. Now, that is essentially all the news. There's a lot to take in there. I'll be dissecting all of it and giving my thoughts and opinions on the situation. Now, firstly, I'm going to be honest and straight with you guys. When I first initially read these rumours, I panicked. I, I panicked. I thought, damn it. Barcelona are going to get their hands on him. I just had a bit of a reactionary take at the time. And when I sat back and analysed things from you know a logical perspective, I understood that this is completely natural. You know, one of the hottest prospects where pretty much every single club is after him this summer, you're going to get a lot of noise for him. And therefore, you know, with a saga that's going to take so long, and it's not a deal that you can wrap up quickly. A lot of clubs are going to be interested. They're going to be having meetings. This is normal. This is not something that we should be surprised about. Chelsea, of course, are going to have meetings with, you know, Haaland's reps, his entourage, etc., which is not good, of course, for Chelsea's hand because it means that we've got to step up the game. And this is really surprising that Barcelona are actually in for him because, you know, we've been told for so long that Barcelona, you know, in, in so much depth, you know, depth up to their eyeballs, soaring depths of 1 billion, you know, euros. It's absolutely incredible. They've got so much depth to clear and, Financially, that club is a complete mess in their in turmoil, but it seems like they've still got the finances to pull off a deal like this. It's, it's baffling. It's really baffling. And as, as I just read out for Fabrizio Romano, they're looking at solutions and ways to overcome the finances and be able to pay the money. And I'm not sure are they going to be doing it in instalments? Are Dortmund going to be happy? Because this saga is going to take so long. This isn't just about convincing Haaland to come to a club. You have to be willing to pay the wages. The bonuses. You're going to have to, you know, negotiate directly with Michael Zork, who is the chief executive of Dortmund, who's, by the way, who came out this morning and said that, that Haaland's not leaving this summer. So it just, you know what, this saga is going to go on forever. And all I'm going to say to you guys is strap your seatbelt in and just relax. Be patient. You're not going to hear anything massive or drastic from Chelsea or from any club for a while. Because as Fabrizio has already said, this will be a very long, very long-winded saga. And I doubt we'll hear anything 
you know, at least till May, June time. Like any sort of advancements, this will drag on all summer. And whichever club gets their hands on him, fair play. Fair play, because this is going to be a long race. This is a marathon. This is not a short sprint to get him. This is a complete marathon. You've got to take your time. You've got to be strategic. When it's your turn to move and move, put your foot forward, you've got to plan all the projects and give him everything that he requires. And you have to satisfy him, because every top club, we're talking your Manchester United, your Man City's, your Real Madrid's, your Barcelona's, your Chelsea's, we're all going to be proposing plans. We're going to be putting our plans forward, our projects, what we have for him as a plan, and where we want to aspire to be the next two, three years, where he's going to play tactically. You have to have all this ready, and the technical director is going to have it into play. You're going to have to deal with the agent in Minerala. You have to get the finances ready in. There's just so much and so many factors and external factors to consider that this is going to be a long race. There's nothing to be worried about. Yes, Barcelona may seem to be leading because they've already had, they've struck first. They've had the first meeting with Haaland and the talks have been positive. So obviously, naturally, Barcelona may be leading the race, but it doesn't mean they could necessarily afford it. They still have to get cough up the money, cough up the finances. This is going to be a long race. All I've got to say is Chelsea are meeting with his entourage, his representatives, Minerola, his father. They're all meeting next week. They're going to come to London or vice versa, wherever. Chelsea will have their time to shine. Petr Cech, the technical director, he will propose the plans. He will give Haaland that plan, the project, the project to, be, to make Chelsea elite again. We will get there. We've got the manager. We've got the ambition. We've got the finances. And I sincerely believe this club is on the right track to achieve that. And as I keep stressing, there's no need to panic. I genuinely believe that Chelsea have a fantastic opportunity to sign for sign Erling Haaland. But it's just surprising that Barcelona are making so many advancements this early. You know, we're, Today's the 1st of April, so it really is really early in terms of advancements and the financial mess that they're in. It's, it's really surprising to hear. Now, moving on to some other news, and it is in regards to Jorginho. And his agent doesn't stop blabbing on. Uh, his agent loves to talk. He loves to open his mouth and have interviews. And he's, I love Jorginho. Everyone knows my opinion on Jorginho, but I can't stand this agent, Charles Santos. He keeps coming out and contradicting himself all the time. He's a walking contradiction. However, this morning he's come out and said, that Jorginho is 100% staying at Chelsea for next season. Um, he said that in an interview. That Jorginho is 100% staying at Chelsea for next season. These are in his words, by the way. This is not me you know, making stuff up. This is in his words. Jorginho is staying 100% for next season. He's got two years left on his contract. And they're going to be discussing his contract situation in the next coming months with the Chelsea hierarchy to potentially extend that contract. Because remember... When he first signed, he signed a five-year contract. He's already had three years at Chelsea. He's got two years left. Chelsea, if they want to keep him for the long term, and he's in two course plans, they're going to have to sort out a contract extension for him. And this is my this is my beef with Jorginho now. It's like, why does he get disrespected so much? The guy is world class. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't. The way he dictates the game, his footballing IQ, his passing range, his movement off the ball, um, his dictating of the play, controlling the tempo. Why does he get so much? He gives everything for this club. He always gives everything for the club. He gives 110% when he goes on the pitch. He still gets disrespect all the time, all about this Rice talk. All about Declan Rice. Is, no, we don't need Declan Rice. Declan Rice ain't the answer. I'm telling you that now. Jorginho is 10 times a player. I don't want to hear any more again. Put some respect on this guy's name, honestly. And hopefully we sort out a contract extension for him because this guy's a top player. And you've seen it. Since Tuchel's come in, you look at our unbeaten record since Jorginho has been in. We've barely lost with this guy in the team. When he plays, the worst result we get is a draw. That is magnificent. So more respect needed for him. Good news, he's 100% staying next season. And finally, let's talk about some Wijnaldum links. Now, it has been reported by various Dutch sources that Wijnaldum could potentially be moving to, to Chelsea. Remember, he's in the final year of his contract. You know, his contract is expiring um, in the summer of this year. So um, he's not signing an extension with Liverpool. He's not signing a contract extension with Liverpool and it looks like he's on his way out. He was heavily linked with Barcelona because the Dutch links with Ronald Koeman. And my question to you guys is, would you want Chelsea to sign one out of them on the free as a free agent? Personally, for me, no. We're sat in that position. He hasn't got the attributes or the characteristics playing on midfield. He's not technical enough for me. We have better midfielders. For me, it's a bit of a BS rumour, but it has been reported Chelsea could potentially sign him at the end of the season, which is crazy to me because I don't think he's good enough. And it's the reason why he's leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. But that is me wrapping up the news daily video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.